All right, so let's uh, move to the next segment that will be configuring our ASA using the ASDM. All right, so it's not only that we are going to configure the Cisco ASA using the CLI, using the ASDM. It's just an application which is known as Adaptive Security Device Manager, where you can manage multiple uh, ASAs from there. So the benefit here will be the multiple ASAs and also you can configure the ACL, NATs, VPNs. You can add the config of the interfaces. You can add the SNMP configuration in a GUI one. All right, so let's uh, create a lab now and we will see how we can access. So since I'm using the 9.8, I do not require any uh, software or application to be uploaded onto the ASA. So right, I would just delay this whole thing now. All right, so I will take the two ASAs, ASA1 and ASA2. Turn that on. And I will also take one switch. Now, until now, we did not see how to use the management interface. This is how now we will use it. Now, I will attach it to my physical system first. So management interface. Next edit, I will just rename it to M0 slash zero. That should be good. And now this one should be gig zero slash zero to gig zero slash zero. All right, so now let's uh, take the consoles. And for the, I can do is that I will just take uh, two routers for here. That would be the inside and the DMC. Start those routers. Now we'll say gig zero slash one will be the ins. Okay, let me delete that one. And gig zero slash two will be the DMC. And also here, what I will do is that uh, uh, otherwise I will have one PC over here. PC1 and I will say gig zero slash. All right, that's all good. So what I will do I here, I will go ahead with the OSPF one with area zero and the network will be 10.0.0 slash 24. And here I will go with the RIP rip with version two, 20.0.0.0 slash 24 network. And that should be dot one dot one, both of them. And here I will use dot two fifty four. <clears throat> And over here, I will use 210.100.1.0 slash 24. So ASA one will be the one and that will be two. Now coming to the management. So management IP address, which will be communicating with my physical system will be 150.1.7.24. And here I will select this one as 25 and this one as 26.
All right, so what I will do is that I will just provide the IP address for the management and I will enable the ASDM on that particular management interface. And after that, from using the ASDM, I will configure the both the ASS now. So if I go to close this one, ASA one, or first I will take the insight. And I will take the TMZ. I will take the ASA one and ASA two. All right, so let's go to the ASA one now. I will just say interface management zero slash zero. Name if will be MGMT. Security will be hundred. IP address will be one fifty dot one dot seven dot twenty six. And no shut, that's it. I'm just giving a name as MGM, MGMT for the management. Now I will enable the ASDM now, HTTP server enable and HTTP 00 MGMT. Now I'm saying that any any network with any subnet mask is uh, able to communicate for the management. But if you want to restrict it, you can say that only this particular subnet should be communicated on the management. You can do that one. I will do the same thing with the ASA2 now. I would say that uh, interface management 0 slash 0, name it will be MGMT, security will be 100, IP address will be 150.1.7.26, and no shut exit HTTP server enable HTTP 150.1.7.0. Now let's open our browser now. I will open here and I will say that HTTPS 150.1.7.25. And also see if I am able to ping from my physical laptop or not. Ping 150.1.7.25. No. 26. Okay, I'm able to ping now. So let me see. Okay, everything, everything seems to be fine. Yep, that's the one cloud ETH zero switch switch that should be good. Okay, twenty five. Let me see for twenty six. Yeah, okay, that means 25 has been taken. So I need to interface M0 slash zero. IP address will be 150.1.7.27. And no shut exit. Ping 27, I should be able to ping. So that IP address has been taken. So I will change it here to 27. Now let's go back to the browser and change it here. Also, that should be 27 and click on advance and continue. Now, before you go ahead and install the ASDM launcher, first install the Java web start. So right click, open the link and download the Java and install the Java. So currently I have installed. So if you have a Windows 11 Pro or Windows 11 machine, I think automatically it should have Java installed, pre-installed, so you shouldn't have any problem. So I'll click on install ASDM. I don't have any username and password, so click on sign. And you see that it is downloaded one application. So I will click on that one. So that should run the ASDM setup. All right, so this is the one. So click on next, next and install. Now it should install. So it will ask you to accept that one. Click on yes. 
and it should install and click on finish now once you come back here minimize that one minimize this one so once you install this is the icon you will get so if i double click on that one you will see that an error showing that uh, the app cannot run so currently it doesn't shows up on the screen but so when you click on that one it shows uh, the error like uh, the app doesn't run so it happens mainly with windows 10 or windows 11 machine now to overcome that problem so what i would do is that i will go to my file explorer go to the local disk c and programming files 86 and here you will have cisco systems and you do have asdm folder so click on that one and this is your launcher now if you double click on that one it should come up with this launcher now now the current ip address size 25 so i will change it to 27 i don't have any username and password just click on enter and you should get another uh tab with another window with this one so click on continue and now it should connect me to the asa one so once that is been uh shared uh sorry open you see that you do have a login so click on ok and this is your asdm i'll bring it on this screen now now you see that you i don't have any host name or given anything it's just a brand new i just assigned the ip address for the management and i got it from here so now on the left hand side you see that there is a device list so i can add or i can delete so right click and delete and right click and delete to delete if you want to add click on add and now you will type your ip address that is the second one 26 so click on ok and again you will have the same window click on continue and again it will ask you to do the sign in i don't have any username and password click on login and now it should connect me to the 26 now both of them are with the same username so i cannot actually make a difference what is happening with which one is which one until unless i go to this one you see that i'm on 27 that is asa one so let's explore the gui then we will go ahead with the configuration now on the home you see that you do have two dashboards one is the device dashboard which give you the device information of general licenses and virtual resources how much it is consuming and on the right hand side you will see that interface status currently i you see that i have only assigned management ip for the interface management uh, interface as i assigned the ip for the management interface currently i did not configure any ipsec uh, ssl vpn or any connect vpn there is no failover also right now and you see that i don't have any connection in progress now at the bottom you see that enable login so this one is very good option to enable that click on that one and you will see the logins so when you have done the login and logout or when you close the asdm all the logs will be logged here so now if i expand it here just so that you can see that all the messages here now coming to the firewall dashboard you see that connection statistics drop packets rate if any drop packets have been dropped possible scans so currently we did not enable and you see the top 10 protected servers by tcp so click on enable to show the data top 200 host if you want to see that any host and if you see that there is a no malware malware nothing so currently that is not connected to internet so that's why i'm unable to see any data over there top 10 services click on enable so that you will see the top 10 sources top 10 destination and top 10 users so i'm just enabling each and everything so that it can detect and give you the data all right so now whenever you go ahead and check for the top 10 services based on the packet heads or based on the packet size or bytes you can go ahead with that one it's up to you all right so that is with the gui now let's go back to the left hand side that is the device pane which you will have all the devices here you select that one click or add or if you want to connect so just click on connect select that one device and click on connect and if you have any bookmarks over here you can uh, go ahead and create any bookmarks if you like just to get your shortcut but that's fine 
Now on the file, you will see refresh ASDM with running config. So basically you do have the refresh here, save option here, back forward and help over here. So if you click on help, it will directly open that help pin. So it will give you a detailed uh, configuration uh, assistance for you. So let's go back to the ASDM now. So on the window, you do have, is that's the only option. Help, you will have the online help, help for current screen, release notes, ASDM assistance and everything. Now wizard, you do have a set of wizard, VPN wizard. So VPN wizard, you do have side to side VPN, any connect VPN, SSL VPN, I version one and two VPNs. If you want to do high availability, yes. If you want to collaborate with the collaboration, uh, devices or servers then you can go ahead with this wizard asdm identity certificates if you're dealing with certificate authentication this is the one now packet capture it's like if you want to capture the packet if i click on that one it will uh, actually capture your packet based on your traffic so if i click on next so currently i don't have any interfaces there is only one interface right now so you will define that uh, ingress and egress uh, interfaces and it will capture the packet for you. Now coming to the monitoring, on the monitoring you see that ARP details, if any ARP details have been generated, it will show up everywhere, each and everything here. So if you want to configure any DHCP settings, if you have configured any DHCP, then that's the statistics and details will be shown here. If you have any Dynamics ACL or ACLs created over here, you will it will show up over here. So now Dynamics ACL, mainly we will use with the AAA servers. Now interface, I do have only management right now on that man particular management, you can get the graphs for it. So these are the different things for the different uh, options you can select in order to create your graphs. Now IPv6, I don't have people POE client. Uh, it's just like a radius authentication on that particular interface. So if you see at the bottom, I do have the interface, VPN, botnet, traffic, routing, properties, and login. So I currently I did not create any VPN, so I don't have any data available here. So I did not enable any botnet traffic scanning or detection, still no data. But for the routing, if I go to the routing, if I have created any OSPF or RIP, you see that I can over, I can see what are the different types of tables of the OSPF over here. Now coming to the routes, if you want to see the routes, currently I do have only one routes on this particular ASA. Traffic zone, I don't have any zones right now, so no nothing. Click on properties. Now in these properties, you do have different, there are many, many options to on the ASDM to explore over here. So it's not feasible to go one by one, but uh, I will just go with the main thing, failover, failover status and graphs, if you want to get those things. And if you want to make this uh, device as active or make these devices standby, you can go ahead and do it over here. Now, if I go to the logins, currently I don't have any things right now. So no data has been generated. So no logins will be there. So configuration. Now, this is where the part where you will go ahead and actually configure your device. So you see that setup wizard, you will see that click on interfaces and you see that all the interfaces are here and you want to create the zones. You can create the zones here. If you want to create, configure the VXLAN, you can go ahead and configure the VXLAN. Now on the routing, you see that you can provide the static routes, route maps, and you can go ahead with the OSPF, you can go with the RIP, you can go with the EIGRP, you can go with the BGP, you can go with the ISES, and you can create the BFD tunnels. So these configuration will be done from here. Routing. Device name and password, and you see that if you want to change the device name, I will say that ASA V1. And if you want to give a domain name, currently I don't have, so I will just uh, ignore that one, click on apply. So if I come back here in the ASA, you see that Cisco ASA, but if I go ahead and enter, it has changed to ASA1. Now for the time, you can go ahead and click on the time. You see that currently this time is not correct. So if I go ahead and select the right time. This one. And you see that it is uh, 401. So I will say 401. Update display time. Click on apply. And proceed. And now if I come back here and I show clock and the clock has been updated. 
okay so it says 15 here so i need to change it to 16 i will say update apply and now that should be changed from 15 to 16 now it has been changed to right time now all right so if when uh, all the things have been done so click on save to save the config and that's it so if you want to go to firewall this is where you create your access rule nat rules triple a rules filtering public servers url filtering threat detection you see that the basic threat detection is enabled identity option adding your active directory over here and botnet so you see that botnet enable uh i don't have internet connection but uh, what i will do is that uh, black and white list dns snooping traffic and botnet botnet enable botnet update on the client no nope, no nope, that's all good now objects if you want to create any network objects like how we created in the netting section you can create the objects over here from here local users so currently i do have only no no users right now so i can go ahead and create add and i can say that the user will be the admin and the password will be moise one two three hash with capital m and now you see that use authentication using ms app so currently i don't have any integration with my active directory so i will ignore that one click on ok and you see that privilege level is two so i will click on edit and make sure that privilege level is 15 click on ok and apply so whenever you enable the ssh on the asa now you can use this admin user which is in your local database now local user group so if you have many users accessing like many administrator accessing your asa that's where you will create the groups and accordingly you will provide the access for them all right so i think uh, going for advanced anti-snooping is enabled so on the management we don't require anyhow so when we create the interfaces i will go ahead and enable that one identity certificate so if you're dealing with certificate this is where you will install your uh ca certificate you will install your identity certificates and pretty much that's it so if you are dealing with the remote site vpn that is with respect to any connect and ssl client list these are the two options you see here that we will be dealing with that one next side to side vpn if you have created side to side vpn this is the this is where you are going to configure it and click on device management and you will see the management access asdm access if you want to allow for a particular subnet uh any other than 150.1.7 you can go ahead and add it over here http don't uh, command line cli prompt so if you want to give the banner so whenever you want to go, someone logs in you want to show the banner this is where you can show the banner if you want to give the message of the day you can go ahead and here and whenever someone uh, take access to the asdm you want to show up the banner this is where you will uh show up the banner cli prompt uh should console timeout so there is a zero minutes currently it's console timeout so i can go ahead and say that 10 minutes if no one has uh, its ideal timeout okay file access ftp client ftp server if you want to provide any detail this is where you can provide icmp forget licensing now click on smart licensing currently i my asa is not registered with my account so that's why it is not licensed this way this one is unlicensed but if you see that by default there is a license and you can create active standby you can create maximum vlans as 25 vlans bvis interface any connect peers you can have only two users and uh, total vpn peers you can have up to 50 and cluster is disabled botnet traffic is enabled by default for you and these are the licenses which are enabled and disabled and if you have something like context to create the virtual firewalls so currently we don't have that security context zero so we cannot create the virtual firewall now system image auto update so if you want to update your asa this is where you go ahead and high availability if you want to create the high availability you can launch the high availability uh wizard from here or you can go ahead and create from here so currently we did not create the failover right now so we will leave it for later 
All right, so click on DNS and dynamic DNS, DNS client. So you can go ahead and define the, your DNS name and you can define your interface where it is reachable. So currently I don't have any DNS, so I'm not assigning anything. All right, so that's it with the GUI part of the ASDM. I hope this was informative for you and thank you.